Gusto Entertainment in presents. Microsoft Sam and Friends, Multiverse Heroes, Episode 1, A New Beginning. It was a dark and rainy night in Rivetania. A girl was seen running from her captors amidst the stormy rain, while trying to seek refuge from them. She was carrying a backpack, containing someone in it. The person inside the backpack told her not to open it, until she finds a safe place. I got you now, young girl. You're not getting away from me this time. Stay away from me, you asswipe. Watch who you're calling an asswipe. I'm gonna kill you for this. I gotta hurry. I'm cold, hungry and I need to open the backpack. Meanwhile, in the Fergusno residence. Boy oh boy, I got my new gaming PC today. I can't wait to play games such as Genshin Impact, Dynasty Warriors 9 and Jurassic World Evolution in it. Whoa, that's really poggers, Fargus no. Can I borrow it? Sure thing. Fargus no, what is that glowing thing on your desk? This is a gaming PC. It has a powerful VGA and RAM, big enough to run the newest games on Steam. Awesome. Mind if I join? Sure, why not? And where's you on show? That old guy? He's still asleep right now. Best not to wake him up. You f okie dokie then. Open up! Open up! Let me in. Whoa, who's there? Careful, Fargus. It could be a thief. I'll deal with that person with my scout ship. Hold on. It's the voice of a girl. I can't let her out in the cold like that. Let me open it. Fergus now opened the door and welcomed the girl in. She removed her backpack and changed her clothes after getting wet in the rain. She opened her backpack, revealing a boy inside. Hi there. I feel like a lunchbox inside that backpack. Who is this guy? He's a friend of mine. We ran away from a person who's been trying to capture us because they want us for their evil schemes. And I was inside that backpack for hours. Can you imagine? Yeah. Anyway, what's your name? My name is Harry B. Donaldson, and this is my friend, Hiroka Fujimaya. We met together in her hometown, Neo Mantrasi. Unfortunately, we left that place when our captor pursued us. And now, we are lost. I used my chrono watch to get us here in Rivetania, but our captor found a time hole where they could use it to chase us. Will you protect us? Sure thing, Ruka and Harry. As a proud member of the JCTN squad, I welcome you two to my house. Sweet! Just to know that I came from the same timeline as Tsukuyomi. If you recall, she gave the JCTN squad medals for their bravery in fighting back against the forces of evil in Dave's universe. I see anyways I hope you to enjoy your stay here. In case if you want snacks or beverages, they're in my fridge. On the next day. Oh, what a wonderful sleep. I had a dream of going to Taman Safari with my family and... Surprise, mofo. Oh sphincter, it's that infamous troublemaker Bernard and his cohort Billy. Who did you expect? Santa Claus? We came here to kidnap Hiruk and that pussy Harry and bring them back to our Lord Yuan Shu, or else he will be in a royal fit. Yuan Shu, you mean my half-brother is working with you too? That asswipe is going to get it for this. Get the heck out of my house, you troublemakers. Never. You're trying to pull a fast one on us, huh? Take this, you douchebag. Oh my dog. Hurry, Billy. Get those two kids and get out of here before that bespectacled bastard recuperates. I'm on it. Oh, right in my penis. Oh, if it isn't my friend and the leader of the JCTN squad, Cedric, you came to save me. Just in the nick of time, anyways. Why did these two troublemakers show up? They were sent by someone named Yuan Shu to kidnap Ruka and Harry. Bernard kicked me in the balls when I tried to call Officer Flanagan to arrest them, and they were trying to flee until you kicked them in the balls. How dare you interrupt our plan, Cedric of the JCDN jerks. Yeah, why do you even show up? We hate the JCDN squad for foiling our plans and beating us back. I'm here to help my friend who happens to be a new member of the squad. You two better scram or else I'll kick you in the crotch again. Oh yeah? Then try this on for size. You said it, Bernard. Bombs away. <laughs> wow. 
what the actual funk. He has a deep voice. Fargus and Haruka, it's your turn. For trying to kidnap me and my friend, how about if you taste our powers? He's really asking for it, Haruka. Let's get in. Hiroka fought against Bernard and Billy with Fergusno's help. She used her light-based electrokinetic powers to zap Bernard to crisp and Fergusno used his Vargas blaster to defeat Billy. After the two are defeated, Fergusno calls Officer Flanagan to arrest the two troublemakers. Ah, stop right there! Who's Finkter? It's the Popo. That's right. Under the orders of Fargus now, you two are under arrest for attempted kidnapping of Aruka and one of your own brothers. You two are grounded until Fargus knows graduation from Kinder's University in 2024. Well, that takes care of those two troublemakers. I hope they never come back again. Fargus, I'm scared. Not to worry, Aruka. They're already behind bars until my graduation. Say, I'm hungry right now. How about if we grab a bite? Splendid idea, you on show. Cedric, are you coming? Sure, and I know a good place for us to eat. Where to, Cedric? I thought you never asked. Chow bunga. Oh, diarrhea. What's the meaning of this? Bernard and Billy are arrested. Unfortunately, yes. We will never recapture Haruka and Harry before the big event starts. Well this is very disappointing. If I don't see Haruka and Harry here before July, all of your ass will be grass. Oh sphincter. We'll do it right away. In the meantime, I have more diabolical plans from my sleeves. I will crush the JCTN squad for good this time, especially Henry. Ha 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 ha.